Tiffany is about tradition. It's about moments of happiness. I talk a lot to this band about moments of happiness. Enjoy those moments. Because in your life there are other moments. But you can live on those moments of happiness. And I talk about that all the time is what you have to live for and on. I have a recollection of my first time at the university in 1969. You talk about a moment of happiness. I'd achieved my dream. I wanted to be a Big Ten band director. And I achieved that dream. I followed a man who was a legend at the University of Wisconsin, Ray DeVark. Ray DeVark set a lot of the traditions, a lot of the things that we do now is automatic diversity. That was part of Ray's, and I was felt myself very fortunate to be part of that legacy. But there were a lot of things not perfect when I came here in 69. The band wasn't very big. We had to struggle to get 90 people that first year. I had people out recruiting. I had people trying to pull people into the band. I mean, if you knew which end to blow in, you were in. <laughs> the band started to grow, and that was good. It was a time of political unrest, a lot of society unrest at that time. It wasn't popular to put on a uniform and march around on this campus. And then there was the football team. we had a chance. They beat us by 28. The next week, we played UCLA. And they were kind of a big powerhouse in the Pac-10 at that time. They only beat us by 11. We had hope. Next week, we played Syracuse. Sure, we're going to break the losing streak. They beat us by 35. And then we played, thank you God, Iowa. We killed them, 23 to 17. But we won. It set off I tell you what it was like. We were now undefeated in the Big Ten. The student section was shouting, Rose Bowl, Rose Bowl, Rose Bowl. <coughs> and I will never forget marching down the streets. We went all the way to the Capitol, celebrating, marched back down to the Humanities Building. Talk about a moment of happiness. We didn't win too many in the next few years, but we had a lot of fun. During that time, the fifth quarter was invented. That was a great time for fun. You enjoyed some of the fifth quarter stuff that we started back in 73, 74. We won the national championship in hockey in 73, and that gave the school and the university a whole new spirit. That was a great time for us. And then we went on to win that national championship six, six times. We added women to the band in 1974. There were so many momentous things that I've experienced. People often ask me, what was your greatest moment? Well, it was at Rose Bowl in 1993-94. The night before the Rose Parade, there's a meeting.
meeting of all the bands, the band directors, and they talk about what you do. At the Rose Parade, you play constantly. You play constantly for two and a half hours. You don't stop. That's a march and it takes two and a half hours. It's five to six miles that you go. And I remember they saying to me, they said, uh, Wisconsin, uh, we want you to play for the first 30 minutes, non-stop. That's when the parade begins. Play non-stop. And then after you play that, there'll be some signs that say, you know, bands can stop playing. And then the guy looked at me and said, Wisconsin, what I'd suggest you do for the rest of the parade route is play whenever you see some patches of your fans along the route. <laughs> We played on Wisconsin 137 times that morning. <laughs> it's all been special to me. And I thank you for being a part of the moments of happiness that I've shared. I was thinking of a song that I heard many years ago that talked about the kind of thing we have, our friendships of two people who hadn't seen each other for a long time, who finally got back together, and they recollected what they had done. It's a song that Willie Nelson did. Thank you so much.